hello my friends welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to look at how to create the application profile and the epg in a cisco epic controller so if you can remember we already did tenant configuration vrf and which domain configuration today we are going to look at the other part application profile creation and epg creation so to do that we will navigate to the cisco epic controller so i am doing this configuration inside the core tenant so first we need to create an application profile so for that you need to go to the core tenant and under the application pro profile folder so once you go there there's nothing here so i am going to create a new application profile so you can create application profile by right clicking this folder on top of this folder and you can create an application profile application profile is a group of the epgs so if you want to have a group of the epg you can create an application profile so without application profile you can create epgs so if you are going to create only one epg so that case also you need to have a application profile so this is co application ap ap means application profile so you can give the description this is my ap application profile so here you can add the epgs so i am not going to add the epgs from here i am just creating a application profile and submit it so what happened in here is just created the application profile so other than that there's nothing so once we create the application profile you can see there are two folder created automatically one is application epgs other one is micro segment epg so we are going to create an application epgs for that we can go to the application epg folder and right click here and you can create application epg so as same as the previous case you can go there and create the application epg same as the vrf and bridge domain creation so this is the application epg creation window here you can add the epg names so i am going to add co1 epg this is first epg if you want you you can add any description and if you don't want a description just keep it keep it is and you can go down and here you need to take the intra epg isolation as an unenforced otherwise if you have enable it is a enforced mode epg to epg coming ep in the same epg you can't communicate with endpoints which means if you take two epgs by default communication is denied so if you want to communicate between two epgs you need to have a contract but if you have one epg and two endpoint attached to it if the epg is in an unenforced mode then that endpoints can talk each other but if you add it as a enforce mode those two epgs also can't communicate these things you can add as your design and as your requirement so generally i am going to keep it as a unenforced mode and here you can see the red box which is called as bridge domain so if you can remember i told you we need to associate the bridge domain when we are creating the epg so cobd is the bridge domain which we have created earlier and i am going to add this one so for this epg 
pd is this one so we under this pd we have created the subnet if you can remember 10.10.10.1 slash 24 so for this epg gateway will be the this pd and subnet is 10.10.10.1 slash 24 and you can just click the finish and this is how the epg now you can see epg is created and there are so many things to configure in here so i will bring you these things in a separate videos so hope you guys enjoyed well thank you very much if you have any concerns any queries please comment on the comment section i think i can help you thank you very much for watching